Let's have a look at question one in this video. So we have a perfectly competitive economy where workers can choose between two types of jobs, safe and risky jobs. Now, a safe job pays 50,000 euros per year and has no risk. A risky job has a probability P of injury, but they do not say how much it pays. So the utility function of the worker is W plus G, where W is the salary and G is the health of the worker. Now, when the worker gets injured, like in the case of the risky job, his health loses 100,000 euros, meaning he probably has to pay in, uh, you know, medical costs and all that. Now, when he's not injured, he pays nothing uh, in terms of these costs. In part A, what would be the wage that firms must offer to attract the workers for a risky job? So, we saw that a risky job has a probability of injury and that probability could lead to a loss of minus 100,000 euros, but we do not know what is the wage in that job so we want to find out now when would we attract a worker for a risky job remember worker makes decision for himself so he would decide based on his own utility and because we have a probability we're dealing with uncertainty it means we're dealing with expected utility so the expected utility of a risky job must compensate the expected utility of a safe job so must be greater than or at least equal to the expected utility of a safe job now what would be the expected utility of a risky job let's calculate it right now remember we have a wage because we have to deal with the utility function we have a certain wage which we do not know we want to find it out plus we have a probability right let's call that probability p it's actually given to us we have a probability p that we might lose a hundred thousand euros so with the probability p with the probability p we are losing a hundred thousand euros so minus a hundred thousand euros from our utility now with the remaining probability we lose nothing so one minus p times zero is just zero so there's no need to write it now this would be the expected utility for a risky job let's see what would be the expected utility for a safe job uh, the expected utility of a safe job is actually start something certain because the wage is given to us as 50,000 euros and there is no risk. So 50,000 euros and if there is no risk, there is no costs for health, right? There is no loss. So G is equal to zero, 50,000 plus zero and that's equal to 50,000. So that would be equal to 50,000 euros. Now let's put our uh, inequality over here. The expected utility of the risky job must be at least the same as this one. So this expression that we just found, W, and let's write this as minus 100,000, minus 100,000 times P, must be greater than or equal to 50,000. So this must be greater than or equal to 50,000. Now, if we take the minus 100,000 to the other side, we take this term to the other side because we're looking for the wage of the risky job. This is the wage belonging to the risky job. Then what would we get? We would get that the wage of the risky job must be greater than or equal to 50k plus the following 50,000 euros plus 100,000 multiplied with P. Now let's just quickly interpret this what it means because it makes sense. So the wage must be at least 50,000. It must be at least the same as the safe job plus something. What is this plus something? This is the risk premium. This is the risk premium because the, the job is risky. So we obviously require more money for doing it that is the intuition over here hope this makes sense in the next video we go to part b